today we are in Montgomery, Alabama, and the sun is shining bright. I am standing next to the sculpture of Rosa Parks. Now, Rosa Parks is known as the mother of the American Civil Rights Movement, and Montgomery, Alabama is known as the birthplace of the Civil Rights Movement because not only did Rosa Parks start a very important Supreme Court case here in this city, but Dr. Martin Luther King's church is not very far from here, and we'll visit that as well. But let's talk a little bit about Rosa Parks. So it was December of 1955. She'd gotten off work. She got onto the bus, and in, in Montgomery, Alabama, at that point, seats on the bus were separated by race. So, so the white section in the front of the bus was reserved for white people. The colored section in the back of the bus was reserved for black people. Well, Rosa Parks, she didn't sit in the white section. She sat in the colored section. But the white section filled up. So the bus driver got up and came back to the four black people, the four African-American people on that bus, and said, you got to move back. I'm going to give your seats to the white folks here. Well, three complied and said, we'll give up our seat. But one... One was just stubborn enough to say, I'm not moving. And because of that, she was arrested. And you can see from this photo here and this photo here that not only was she arrested, but she was booked for violating the bus segregation law. Well, that's when Martin Luther King stepped in. And we're going to finish our story two blocks from here where this whole event went down. We'll be right back. I'm Steve Grubbs, your Victory XR host. So now, right over here is the Rosa Parks Museum. And you can see this commemorative plaque right here. So this is where Rosa Parks got on that bus and the bus driver said, move to the back of the bus. And she said, no. Ironically, in 1943, 12 years earlier, she had paid to get on the bus and the bus driver, the same bus driver, told her to get off and enter through the back door of the bus. So she did and the bus driver drove off and left her standing on the side of the road. So she'd had some history with this bus driver. Martin Luther King was a young minister and he led a boycott of the buses in the city of Montgomery, Alabama. It was a very successful boycott and it was the first mass protest against segregation in the United States. That boycott continued until the United States Supreme Court ruled in November of 1956. Now remember, it occurred December of 1955. 11 months later, the US Supreme Court ruled that that busing segregation was a violation of the Equal Protection Clause in the United States Constitution. So, at that point, the buses became desegregated. And it cost Rosa Parks a lot, though. Not only did she lose her job because of what she had done, but she also had death threats. So, after a while, she moved out of Montgomery and up to Detroit, Michigan, where she worked for a famous congressman. Rosa Parks was commemorated by the United States Congress as the first woman to lie in state in the U.S. House, which is a, a big honor. Let's head over and take a look at Martin Luther King's church and uh, wrap up this tour of Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, we're at a very exciting place now. We're still in Montgomery, Alabama, but this is the church that the Rev Reverend Martin Luther King, also the Dr. Martin Luther King, was the pastor of from 1954 to 1960. And it was in 1955, of course, when Rosa Parks refused to get up out of her seat and move to the back of the bus. 